Hello everyone and welcome back to Cook Serve. D -d 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 Delicious. Delicious. We're gonna start off with the freshest BYO BBQ. Bring your own barbecue. Be your be 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 your <laughs> Be young <laughs> oh, I don't Be know. your own barbecue. BQ. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, what shall we start with then? How oh, do we need points? We need no. We only need we only need six fruits, so we don't need, we don't need to choose hard stuff. Oh, they got fur. Mm, it's <laughs> it's level four. Are you We're sure? getting some tonight. As Are I'm you sure? <laughs> oh, saute. Oh yeah, let's do that. Sounds yummy. Satay from Indonesia, likely deriving from the Indian kebab. Satay is a popular dish from Indonesia, where it is considered a delicacy and national dish. Many varieties are available across uh, its country of origin, and it's, it is and it is especially popular uh, and an especially popular street food on account of its re relatively easy preparation and mm. eating. Although bamboo skewers uh, were also are also used for firmer meats, the most authentic version uh, of satay use satay uses skewers made from uh, lidi, which is uh, which is the mid rib of a coconut palm frond. Hmm. Uh, this tradition has become especially more common since the since the 20, 20, 2019 bamboo sh shortage, uh, which increased demand for the coconut tree-based skewers, especially in cases where uh, multiple are needed to support the meat. In response to this, Indonesian entrepreneurs began planting coconut trees en masse to keep up with, with demand, uh, exploiting the excess coconuts to any nation that would that would take them. This excess supply, initiated by tradition, traditional satay preparation, uh, is why 30% of all goods produced today are made up of, at least in part, by coconut. <laughs> Cute. Let's get it practice. Mm, coconut. Yeah, me too. I love my coconut. And the coconut. Hmm? Oh, the you don't need one. Thing. You only did one player. Oh, uh, whoops. Well, you can I don't practice need this. You. Yeah. All it is is X. X, uh, X, Y, B, X, Y, B. Then you just sell it. Easy. Yeah, then you just sell it. Okay. Well, we're gonna go for Dashlian. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> we just don't. We just don't need to have you around, babe. <laughs> if you forgot it, it wasn't important. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. If I forgot it, it wasn't important, babe. You're important to me. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, let's do ribs. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. I'm unknown. unknown. Oh, that makes me nervous. Is Rib it saying unknown because it's like, yeah, like we don't know where it's like, yeah, yeah. like the person is from or something? Like uh, the, meat, the, the animal it's come from? Uh, ribs are a popular a cut of meat. <gasps> dun dun dun. <laughs> Continue. Uh, usually consisting of le uh, the less than meaty part of the chops cooked mm. as a slab rather than a cut of individual ribs. <laughs> ribs are typically slow roasted or grilled. For as long as 10 to 12 hours for maximum tenderness. Mm -hmm. Maximum tenderness. Maximum. After preparing ribs, um, our ribs are then typically torn apart by hand ha yum mm -hmm. in a messy fashion so th yes. to remind the eater of their humble origins as hunter gatherers <laughs> who had not yet invented silverware, which is why they are typically served with wet naps. <laughs> Competitions are often held to, uh, to see who can eat uh, ribs the sloppiest, with notable nice. two time winner. Nick Quack from Australia yeah, represent Australia. <laughs> managing to somehow get more barbecue sauce than himself <laughs> than was originally present on the ribs he was given. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I love it. So yeah, you can prepare it. Ribs, X, Y, A, done. Salt seasoning. Salt seasoning. Do we need to do anything? It's going to take ages to cook. <laughs> we need to wait for it to... I think you can probably just set this one out, but we'll see. <coughs> My throat feels yucky. Yep. Oh no, you actually have to do stuff. Okay. Rib sauce seasoning. Oh, that's, that's all it. it is, that's fine. So it's rib sauce seasoning and then rib sauce seasoning again. Yep. <laughs> okay. Easy. Um, uh, add two things. For chase. Mm, palm rib. Hot dogs. Hot get dogs, your, um, uh, get your hot. What? Um, uh, hot dogs. Um, let's do whatever this is. It looks delicious. I am goreng, Southeast mm, Asia, also known as Malaysian fried chicken. I am goreng is 
different from the United States style of fried chicken in that it isn't covered in batter or flour, but is instead more rich in spices. Yum. There was an attempt to combine these two versions of fried chicken in the late t- 2038 by Chef Winston on his pop- on his popular internet cooking show, but this resulted in chaos. Uh, upon tasting the resulted <clears throat> American Malaysian fried chicken, Chef, uh, Chef Winston appeared to be <laughs> to suffer an identity crisis, followed immediately by anemia. Uh, and amnesia, amnesia, sorry. Oh, and dear God, anemia. not anemia. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read, okay? And amnesia and an uncom- uh, uncontrollable urge to stick his hand into a, <laughs> in a, into a heated deep fryer. Fortunately, Chef Winston's cameraman was able to restrain him before he inflicted harm upon himself. However, scientists still warn the public against <laughs> attempting a similar combination until they can uh, positively determine if Chef uh, Winston's ma- mania was due to the dish or if it was, in fact, related to his family's history of mania. <laughs> And then, and then numerous, numerous unverified reports of his declining mental health. Oh, poor, poor okay. Chef Winston. <laughs> this is an easy one. It's only, it's only level zero. Can we handle level zero? Oh. Oh, sorry. I oh, thought, I thought she clicked into it for some reason. Mm, delicious. Oh, I thought it's so groggy. This is what happens when we just wake up. When we just wake up. <laughs> yeah. That's why I had took a nice drink of water. You took a nice swag of water. Nice swig of water. Swag. Okay. Case is swag, it's actually swig. Mm, yeah, no, it's just swig. Okay, you just send it out. Yes, yeah, send it out. <clears throat> cool. Send it. Uh, add. And then, what do you want? Uh, let's see. Something that's kind of easy. Um, have we done frozen bananas? I want to do frozen bananas as well. We haven't, I don't think we've done frozen bananas before. Wonderful. Frozen bananas were created in 1940 in Orange County, California. The location of the very first frozen banana stand. Well, I imagine that's the case. <laughs> well, not necessarily. Um, there, Americans could enjoy the cold treat on warm summer's day, while the rest of the world engaged in bloody combat over the case of trespassing. <laughs> this lasted until December of 1941, when Japanese, uh, when the Japanese forced the, the United States to admit that things were getting a little out of hand and should probably get... And it should probably get involved as well. <laughs> what? Okay. Jeez, that's a bit. Afterwards, um, frozen bananas were primarily... It's a bit prim- heavy-handed. You, it's you, a bit... Yeah, ooh. Heavy, yeah. Afterwards, frozen bananas were primarily enjoyed only by women, children, and men over the age of 45 until Wait, the war's why? end. Fortunately, because there's always a financial gain to be had in owning a frozen banana stand, the treat survived the war and today is enjoyed world over. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit, uh, that one was a bit much for me. A bit much? Chocolate, nuts, close door. Chuck banana. Chuck banana, nuts, close that door. No, just leave the door open. Mmm, chocolate banana. I'm actually not a huge fan. <gasps> chocolate unless, banana? Unless the chocolate is melted. I don't want it to be frozen. Oh, you don't want it to be like hard chocolate. Yeah, I don't like hard chocolate. What do you mean? You you didn't enjoy the you didn't enjoy the chocolate bananas that I made for you? <laughs> oh, those are delicious. On that picnic, those they were delicious. frozen. They were good. Oh, <laughs> making me so sad. Oh, curry. Yum, I love curry. Uh, curry Pakistan. Curry is first originated in the Indian subcontinent in modern day Pakistan. After the uh, Multan pestle became the hottest toy <laughs> of the, uh, t- uh, 2600 BC. 2600, yeah. Uh, children everywhere began pounding mustard, cumin, and fennel into a fine powder before discarding the spices and starting over. <laughs> oh god. Historical records uh, indicate that a, that a woman named um, Ayman Ali began using uh, the pow- powdered spices in the dishes she cooked, uh, which she then sold as a way of affording more spices for her children to play with. To Ali's delight, uh, locals adored her uh, cooking, and she soon became the, the talk of the town. Although her children eventually became tired of playing with the Maltime Pestle, uh, Ali insisted that they continue panning spices so she could keep up with demand. Historians now believe that this pivotal moment signified this, the creation of curries and child labour. I knew they were going to mention something about child labour. Mmm, <laughs> curry. we got a weird menu here. You know how I feel about curry? Freaking it's still love large. curry. Oh no, it's a special oh, one. Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, I was doing the exact same thing. Seasoning, food, garlic, chili. Is it always all of them? All of it. 
when I have it looks like it looks like there's a second page as well though so is that uh, I think it looks like it's no, all of them that's all of them page okay uh yeah it looks like it must be all of them mm. and then just send out oh that's Same easy busy? yeah that's really easy um okay mm, delicious this, it's a points? simple curry uh we don't need points I said oh right yeah we don't uh, um, let's do cheese. that one. This one? Mm hmm. La la. La la. Yep. Can eating la la help you see God? <laughs> what? No. According to doctors and scientists, despite the seemingly con uh, conclusive analysis, Americans continue to believe otherwise after Missy Martins claimed that the taro wrapped pork dish let her connect with a higher power mm, while on a trip to Hawaii in 1957. The claim brought her fame and fortune as Martina was showered with, look, uh, with a lucrative book deal, an exclusive interview with Tapas magazine, and a permanent position on a leading breakfast show. The government was similarly, in, similarly intrigued and in 1959 made Hawaii an official American state, just in case the claims turned out to be true. Oh to the country's dismay, Martin's fame came crumbling down in 1961 when it was revealed her uh, beautific vision was a result of um, a pres prescription medication oh. inhaling volcanic gas from a recent eruption and getting hit on the head by oh a falling my God. coconut. <laughs> Is that what happens in Hawaii? You can ask my family. They they went. They went there? Did they get hit by flying coconuts? They did none oh, yeah. of those things. Uh, two sets of taro leaves on the table, then seasoned meat wrapped with cooked. Taro leaves. Oh, two leaves. Like that? I did there it twice. Yeah, you have to do the leaves twice. You have to do the leaves twice. Okay. And then I think it probably just sends out. Yeah. Okay, that's easy. We gave ourselves a kind of easy point, easy one this day, but I think fine. we should be able to manage this. Six point menu. Six points isn't bad. It's a decent, decent menu. I mean, we could have made it much harder, but we'll 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 get that first sometime. Mmm. We're gonna get that for tonight. <laughs> yes, oh, I'm so excited. If your holding sessions are full, you can quickly press minus. This will allow you to look at the upcoming stop orders without having to trash a dish. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's um, get moving. I yeah. wish it was plus though. Okay. Let's go. Okay, um, I got these ribs. Okay, got the satay. Smart hay. Banani. I got the ham ring. Mm hmm. I'm gonna do some yeah. more saute. Yep, you do that. I'm gonna manage these special orders. Mm -hmm. oh, special you. order? There's no special orders. There's no special orders. Here we go. You're making doop, floor, doop, so doop, then doop. the last thing that we'll need is some more iron got in. Okay, easy peas. Easy peas, peas. Actually, those are okay. Did we make them too early? The saute is going off kind of quickly. We're halfway there, so. And they'll probably send that straight away, so I don't think. I think we'll be right. I think we'll be right. Wonderful. I believe. Yeah, I think this is a pretty easy day. We've got this one. Mm -hmm. we'll, got this down, down hat, down hat. We'll, we, we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Famous last words. Is Literally. That, that, that's, that's what you say. Okay. Yeah. Grieving. We get there really quick, so and like it only it only went off like oh, yeah. halfway at least. I'll try not to read the sate so early then. Off it goes. Oh, we need, I need more of the ambering. Yep. yep, I'm doing that now. Okay, I'm gonna do these ribs. Mm hmm. Got the ribs? Yeah, I got it. Cool. Now we wait for this curry and the I am goreng. And got the curry. Mm hmm. It's cooking now. Spices this is and the last flour. <laughs> Isn't that just basically KFC? It's I'll probably get murdered for that. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, didn't we do that? Okay, I do the satay. Yep, I'm the doing the first Madonna's now. Yep. Oops, I didn't know to do that. Okay, I'm gonna do the special orders. Um, we're gonna do a lot more frozen bananas. I'll do frozen bananas first. And then. What's our other special? Oh, what's our other special order again? Oh, the the la la. The la la. We didn't have another. Yeah, we, had, yeah. we had a third one, didn't we? I oh, hear it is. Then we're people ordering it. <laughs> we are nearing the next stop. I feel like didn't we have something else? No, it was only two. Was it only two? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I need to make sure I pay attention to this stuff. Go. Go. I need to make some more saute. Go. Go. I'll do the ribs. I'll do the ribs. 
Oops, it's all gone. Need some more of that. Got, yeah, you got some more of the um. I'm doing everything, so yes. Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, I need some more, but I am got iron. So that's yep, one. You got that. Mm -hmm. Ribs is coming. I think I need some more satay. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Cool. I'll start on this ribs up here. Easy. I feel like I don't even really need to press Y. Uh, press minus. I mean, it's actually e it's actually easier to click into it and check mm. it from here. Is how I feel at least. Get rid of all this. Are you starting stuff. again? Yeah. Right, I'll oh, I always start again. <laughs> always start again. Right, sure. I'll do the second one. The ribs. We're already halfway there. Come on. You just do other things, I'm fine. Yep. I'm practicing these. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of lag sometimes when you're going into it. Yeah, that I, I, I know. That I'm really it, it scared of. <laughs> you're I scared got, of pressing the other I got the ribs. Mm -hmm. Come on, cook. Why are you making things all? Oh, well done. That was the quickest That start. was really easy. Oh, well oh I did another one. Oh, no. It's, I did that. Oh, when it's having stuff completed, I thought it was like the whole yeah, day. Yeah, me too. For amazing. Again. Okay, I got the ribs. Okay. I got the fourth one. I'm going. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some more iron going because we got a couple of them. Oh! I almost pressed the rat, but it didn't let me, thank god. Yeah, it doesn't let you until you've done it, it looks like. For the most part. Ah, uh, so I'm gonna need a lot more of everything <laughs> afterwards. I just don't need frozen bananas. Okay. Mm, rabs. Yeah, I thought that was the end. I was like, oh, wow, that was yeah, quick. That was easy. Uh, I think it's close to the number in the corner, like mm. the 4.4 4 out of 4. And for some reason, I thought we had already done it, but I just wasn't counting. Like, <laughs> Alright, we're arriving I didn't now. actually count when we do it, I just <laughs> I just do it. Go. Go. I need to make some more satay. Make some more of those. Yeah, and I need to make I'm some more. Of these ribs. I am going. Yep, sand. You got the ribs? I got these ribs. I need to make some more ribs. Yeah, we need more ribs. And some more side. I'm a freaking legend on the hauling station. Got this on the hauling station. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's what you do for a job. Oh, that's what I do for a living. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I manage the pass. I am the manager, sort of. <laughs> Assistant manager. You got, you, got to, you got to manage all the orders coming in. Gold medal, <laughs> baby. Uh. Well, it's also easy having you around, doing the doing the special order. Special order. Good job. Sorry. You can't though. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. Yeah. That was a really good one. Maybe maybe we need to make it harder. I find this so much easier than the cook surf delicious too. Yeah. So this one has to be five point menu. Simple solids, too much delicious. Uh, you currently have one extra prep station turned on for. Each uh, prep station turned on, your point requirements are, are reduced by one. Use the setup button on the top left of the menu to uh, uh, alter your stations. Top button, left of the menu. Right, so we have an extra holding station, so we only need four points instead of five. Uh, okay, do you want to just keep it like that way? Yeah, sure, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, interesting. Well, those are all easy, except until you get to here. Okay, um, when we only need four points, let's do egg rolls. I was going to say egg rolls as well. Yeah? Yeah. Egg rolls Vietnam. Egg rolls were created in Vietnam during the first annual International Opposite Day. To commemorate the day egg, egg rolls were, rec were created, the foods created decided to name the rice-based rolls, <laughs> rice-based roll, which contained no egg whatsoever, <laughs> the egg roll. <laughs> this trend of giving foods, of giving foods created on International Opposite Day, an ironic name, continued until a local producer called a dairy rich beverage dairy free iced coffee which ultimately resulted in thousands of lactose intolerant individuals becoming becoming violently I feel ill your pain. Oh, today's international opposite day is enjoyed responsibly oh gosh <laughs> i feel that pain <laughs> there's really no egg roll egg in the in the uh, pastry uh so it's spring roll and then oh okay it's like the chickens uh yeah, they changed that. Usually, I think they it was always just the... one, two. Usually, it was always two of each, two of each. So now they made it a bit, bit more, a bit more funky. Mm. <laughs> uh, they messed done. Let's just see if they just go out and boop. Yeah, easy. Yep, easy. Okay, so we just gotta pay attention. That's all. Add to the menu. What do you want? Let's continue with the egg one. There's grilled eggs down the bottom there. 
Uh, to the right. Grilled, uh, oh, there. Griddled eggs. Oh, Let sorry, griddled eggs. I thought I said... My apologies. Uh, eggs ready for entree servings, uh, including scrambled. Traditionally, scrambled eggs were made by whisking eggs in a bowl with milk, then lightly cooking the mixture in a pan. According to recent studies, however, most scrambled eggs are made by people who have failed to correctly flip an omelette. <laughs> That's actually happened. That's, that's legit. <laughs> We've yeah, actually done that, that in yeah. my household. I knew, I knew it. <laughs> uh, well, conscientious, some foods, us food critics, believe scrambled eggs made from failed omelettes should instead be called scromlets, as they <laughs> lack the soft, fluffy texture. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. I just, I was giggling too much and I laughed. <laughs> I guess we're practicing this one. <laughs> we'll practice it and I'll let you finish it. One, two, three, four. Mmm, sunny side. And I'm pretty sure that's, I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> Mmm, fried egg. Is it always four and four? Yeah, it looks like it. I just love hearing the vibration of your um, thing. Okay. Okay. Of, the, of your controller. <laughs> I feel like yours vibrate more than mine do. Man, I'll continue. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Something of, new. Of true scrambled eggs. Uh, opponent, opponents of this idea believe that freedom and spontaneity are true attributes of the recipe. And as long as the dish features eggs, which are, uh, to a certain degree, scrambled, <laughs> they can be classified as scrambled eggs. A new $11.6 million study in the United States, uh, by the United States government was commissioned in 2029. However, as of, uh, as of writing, it has yet to be provide a clear definition of scrambled eggs. Mm. Nice. Um, let's do something... Poutine? What's poutine? Is it poutine? I think poutine is a Quebec... <laughs> Quebecus. Quebecus dish. Mm -hmm. uh, made of French fries topped with gravy and cheese curds. Oh, my lord. Yum. <laughs> oh, gosh, no. <laughs> uh, during the Seven Year War in the mid 18th century, uh, Britain defeated France to take control of what is t what is today known as Quebec. Although the territory had, uh, been, had been claimed by the British, the people of Quebec were uh, determined for the area to remain culturally unchanged and created a number of luxuries which could only be enjoyed by French speakers, one of which, is, which was poutine. To enjoy the decadent dish, restaurant goers would have, would have to pledge <laughs> in perfect French their allegiance to liberty, uh, equity and bagged milk. <laughs> uh, this angered Britain as the temptation of poutine was encouraging was encouraging Anglophone Anglof yep. settlers to set uh, uh, settlers to learn French. Uh, fearing that this practice would spread to other provinces, uh, in 1774, the British Empire uh, introduced the Quebec Quebec Act, giving the province uh, an, ex an extensive uh, charter of rights in exchange for consumption of protein. <laughs> wow. Wow. You gotta you gotta speak French to eat this. French fries, and it looks like we'll probably, so you just set up the French fries and then we'll have to sauce it up. Yeah, once done. once they're all done. Mm -hmm. Sauce it up, and then maybe the special lotus will get harder. Let's do like two, let's do a couple hard ones. I feel like that's more interesting. Brown gravy, cheese curds. Oh, is it just like that all the time? Oh, what am I doing? I wanted to do why. Looks like it. Mmm, okay. gravy and cheese curd. Yeah, it sounds like something you would enjoy. <laughs> I don't speak French, apologies. <laughs> okay, let's try to some hardish ones. Okay. Like number twos? Okay. Or do you want to do like a number threes? <laughs> um, is that an eggplant palm? Palma? Um, eggplant palm, yeah. Let's do that. Do that one? Eggplant parmigiana. Uh, an Italian baked creation featuring an eggplant filling with a layer of cheese and tomato sauce, parmigiana. Uh, sorry, and tomato sauce. Parmigiana is often considered one of the tastiest veg uh, vegetarian Italian dishes featuring eggplant. Although variations uh, featuring veal or chicken have become popular in areas around the world, many Italians consider uh, eggplant parmigiana to be the one true parmigiana. The one true. Italian legend states that the parmigiana is best enjoyed with a large, full moustache that curls at the ends, as it tends to catch the bits of the dish um, in itself for later enjoyment by either a man <laughs> with the moustache or his wife when she reaches across the table for a kiss. <laughs> this legend resulted in an increase of such fac facial hair in Italian culture. <laughs> Meanwhile, women who were incapable, incapable of growing moustaches often sought, um, sought, sought out, out 
a mustachioed man. man. Yeah. Um, so they could see what the fuss was about. <laughs> That's so good. And then you come to Australia, where there's the debate on, is it the Palmer or the or Palmy? The <laughs> It's not a holding session one, Bob. I'm sorry, I just I'm so used to the holding session. That is that is my that is my role. Where we're from, it's a Palmer. Who who calls it Palmies? Sydney? Um pretty much everywhere else. What really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Queensland and New South Wales <gasps> call it a Palmy. We're the minority. I think so. We're the minority. Palmer just sounds it just it just makes more sense to me. Well, gives the Parmigiana. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, I missed, I missed into that without finishing it. <gasps> okay, it's okay. easy enough. Yeah, it looks like it's all the same. Okie dokie. Uh, purchase. Uh, let's do... Mm, gelato. You want to do gelato? Yeah, we can do gelato. Gelato, Italy. Gelato was invented by Bernardo Buono Talentini. Talent, Talenti. Mm -hmm. uh, as an accomplished stage designer, architect, military, military engineer, and artist. Uh, Buono Talenti. Buon, Buon Talenti. Buon Talenti. Yep. Uh, was a true rena Renaissance man. This bird, the, this bird well for him as he was born when the Renaissance was in full swing and had already produced Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel uh, ceiling. Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa and Russo's Living Dirt. <laughs> what? Um, inspired by these masterpieces, uh, Buon Talentini uh, grew tired of being traditional, being a traditional artist and engineer, and dreamed of devel developing a food that could be considered art itself. Fascinated by the process of freezing, uh, he began to experiment with freezing meats and breads, but found that they became much more difficult to eat or taste, <laughs> or taste as a result. He then froze things that were not typically, typically considered foods. But was disappointed to discover that frozen frozen influenza <laughs> uh, yield few uh, few repeat customers. Upon learning the, that the Grand Duke uh, Cosimo, I oh my God, Cosimo e de, de Medici Med 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 uh, wanted him to organize a lavish feast to celebrate the Spanish deputation, uh, Buonantini uh, hastily froze a mixture of cream, milk, and sugar. That he that he had flavored with lemon juice. Yum. Upon, uh, lemon juice. Upon tasting it, the Grand Duke advised Buon, uh, Buon Talentini to Talenti to not quit his day job and hired him to design his new villa to keep um, him focused on his true talents. However, word of uh, the gelato spread from the other attendees uh, of the feast, and it continues to be enjoyed this, to this day. So he, he was like, "Oh, don't keep doing it." But then it became popular. But then it became because popular. <laughs> Uh, it's a holy station. What am I doing? Okay, so you just choose which one it is. Pistachio. Mm. Oh, I've got a bit, several pages. Oh my goodness gracious me. Um, so it's easy to know which one, which page it's on because next to the thing, it'll come up with the color. So you can see the kiwis right. on the green. Right. Oh, green. okay. Got it. So that's, that's, that's the way to help you. That, uh, that it helps a lot. Cotton candy. Okay. There's cotton candy as well. Cheesecake. Um, uh, what's... St 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 Stracciatella? Stracciatella. Red velvet. Ah, oh, here's on that. Oh gosh, that is a lot. This is a lot of choices. Rasp. At so our that... local gelato place, there's a lot of choices. Yeah, it's true. Ah, oh, now I feel like gelato. Man I'm not a pistachio Man kind of person. Menagno. Strawberry. Okay, are we, uh, are you okay, I think we're good. I think we'll survive. Yeah, we, we can manage. We'll try our best. At least it's I, mean, one it's, thing. I was gonna say it's special order, so I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Um, and then I'm gonna, I want to try and make it hard. <laughs> I like trying to make things harder for ourselves. So. All right, let's do that number two one then. This one. Yeah. Palak paneer. Mm -hmm. you, you read it. Palak paneer is a, a hot vegetarian dish cooked with Indian cottage a cheese paneer in a spinach palak gravy. As one of the most uh, popular paneer dishes in India, palak paneer is recommended for children who refuse to eat healthy greens. <laughs> palak paneer was uh, famously used to help the population of Alabama, Alabama. Return, <laughs> return to eating vegetables after an extreme religious cult took hold of the state uh, that denounced eating anything that never had a soul. <laughs> Aww. Um, Poor vegetables. Desperate to keep their uh, constituents from dying out of... Uh, right. From malnutrition, mm -hmm. the local government authorities launched a radical campaign promoting the idea um, that there was no food 
more soulful than Indian cuisine. Mm. With Palak Pania uh, featured heavily in this campaign, the venture paid off and the state became the second biggest consumer of Indian cuisine in the world, wow. eventually naming Panak Pania as its new official state food. Wow. Okay, now let me just try to remember what else we've picked. And oh, then... you didn't want to practice that one? I didn't actually practice it. Sorry, let's go back into it here. Practice. Uh, for some reason in my mind, I think I had already, I had already practiced it. <laughs> I'm just already prepared. Oh, wow. Okay. Pania, heavy cream. Oh, okay. oops. I, I, I wasn't supposed to put garlic in. Yeah, so I think it's... It's like one or the other, looks like it. Ow! Ow! Bless you. Oh, yeah, so it's No, like sometimes it includes it, and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, I thought it was going to be one or the other, but it looks like it's either both or not. Garlic or onion. Because this time, this one didn't have onion in it. Oh, okay. Garlic. Oh, this one had onion and... <laughs> this one doesn't have chilli powder. Okay, we're going to have to be careful with this one. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, this one didn't have chilli powder. Oh, that one didn't have chilli powder. Yeah, I fucked it up as well. Okay, yeah, this is something we need to be careful about. Onions, tomato, chilli, yeah. At least when it's done, it's done. Like, yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah, that one didn't go. That one didn't go well. That one also didn't go well. I'm starting to get a bit more used to it now, anyway. So look, there's only ever there's only ever eight options. Uh, only ever eight things. So there's always it's always not including something. Um. It's always not including two things. Actually, that's not true because I just did one that had garlic. Oh, that had. Um, did it have both powders? It had. It only. It only did include the paneer, I think. This one did, oh, this one doesn't have garlic. any tomato. Yeah, it looks like it's always got. Um, I think six of the eight things. Oh no, my, I did one that had seven. So. Oh really? But yeah. Okay. You know when you read for too long and then like my your eyes go watery. <laughs> that's what happens to me every time I play. Every time I play this and I'm reading. <laughs> Yeah, no, me too. That, that, that happens when I'm, I'm like, reading as well. I'm like, my eyes are going watery. <laughs> okay, let's go. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We did nine points. Instead of four. Wow, okay. We're going, going hard, man. The challenge. Yeah, we got to challenge ourselves. It's not, it's not fun if we don't. <laughs> That's not how I feel. No, I agree. You know me, I like playing... Um... Seeing us sitting on a surplus of crumb coin, you can also use crumb coin to buy trinkets to decorate your food truck. Unlock the customized truck editor at Yum Level 3. I have been decorating my truck here. You have been. Alright, let's get these special words okay. going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what else do we need extra? Uh, Nothing. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Interesting. If you needed extra, the thing would be yellow, so you would know. Maybe I put them too early, though, because we're still ages away. Eh, whatever. It might be okay. We'll see. We'll see how... Uh, it's they make to... quite a lot. Yeah. We've got 8, 8, and 6. This will probably be good then for. I think we'll be fine for. Um, Howling Station will just be the special orders. That's important. Okay. You got it? Yeah, I'm just taking my time with that one. Yeah. Making sure it's okay. That's alright. You got that one? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Yummy. Now I feel like a chicken palmy. I don't like it. How that. dare you? <laughs> chicken palmy? <laughs> <laughs> was it disgusting? It was a little disgusting. I'm sorry, a chicken parma. Pistachio. Oh, that's fine. Mm. Hmm? Where's my thing? Did I do it? Okay, I just want to get out of it. I was confused. Were you lost? I was a little lost. <laughs> but we're okay. Uh, start again. Wait, let's wait a little sec. Okay, that's fine. Actually, no, we're pretty close. It's fine. Oh, I've accidentally made the gelato. Gelato. Okay, that's fine. Gelato? It's delightful. It is delightful. You're delightful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, egg roll. And then I'm gonna do some more griddled eggs, I think. Okay, cool. And then after that, we'll do some more french fries. Okay, which one? Yeah, cool. This one. Ready? Over here. Really that there. one. Cool. What's, what flavor is that? Starship. A marina? I don't know what it is. It's not something that I've heard of here. Mm. 
Uh, cool, that's all done. <laughs> you need right. yeah, to, you've yeah, got it's it? Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, cool. It's coming. It's okay. Okay, <laughs> it's let's take our time. Yep. Oh, this is just gravy, and, just gravy and cheese. Gravy and cheese. Gravy and cheese. Gravy and cheese. Whenever we go to the local um, chip shop, mm -hmm. and it's all it's all gravy and cheese. Let's do that again. Um. Uh, oops, I I'm confused because yeah, normally start again. <laughs> this is why I get rid of it all because it makes it easy for me to look at. We're almost and then I need there. to make some eggies. Okay, and then we've got all good. Got that Sorry, going I'm taking for my you. time with that one. No, it's okay. Don't do it. Just take your time. It's all good. I think ready. Oh, you got it. Yes, I do got it. Do you want to do it or not? <laughs> it's like, do you want to do it or not? That was such an easy one. Easy stop. They've always got the second last one be like super duper easy. And then it's like the last one probably make, they, they always make the lot of the last one super duper hard. Okay. Yeah, look at all that. Uh, eggs. Oh, I pressed Y. Okay, never mind. It's like, you know, I can do the hand holding station by myself, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I, sometimes so I accidentally press Y instead of X. <laughs> Even though I'm quite happy like, with the buttons. <laughs> you don't need to though. Right, okay. it, you don't need to though. Just do the special order. Cream, onions, tomato, cream. Nice. Whew, good job. Whew. <laughs> Make sure we get that right. You get that one and I'll get one up here. Mm -hmm. Package. Package it. At least we like did one, one like holding session stuff that up. Oh, okay. Uh, do I need to make anything more stuff? No. Okay. It's all good. Oh god, there's so much stuff happening. I'm confused. Cool. Oh, we finished together. Let's Look at us go. Yay! Perfect stuff. Boop. <laughs> Just like pace signs. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, gonna leave it on the goal, baby. Perfect, Perfect day. Impressive. Again, thirty six and um, one hundred and fifteen. Pretty sure that was the same as last time. Oh, yeah. Mm. So the thirty six, the, the delicious, the delicious orders. Um. Yeah, but to get those, you need to be like, it's a combo, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode right here. Hope you enjoyed that, everyone. Serving up a storm. Seven up golds. Seven up, seven up golds. Yeah. <laughs> Always, we gotta. I can't. I can't the completionist. Have to. The completionist heart in me gets so depressed when we don't. Okay. Well, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more content, you can subscribe. You can subscribe for mm -hmm. more delicious meals. For delicious, delicious meals and videos. Mhm. Mm Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>